All right, welcome back to Good Day Atlanta at 838. Now, if you think the Albert in Edmond Park is just a neighborhood watering hole, think again. Now, it is that. I'll give you that. But as Burgers with Buck found out, there's a lot more to the Albert than just a hip, cool place to hang out. Mm. Okay, this week, Burgers with Buck, we're in Enman Park. We are at the Albert. And this is the Albert. And this is Craig. Yes. All right, so before we talk about this, Craig, let's talk a little bit about this place, the Albert. We are just like your local neighborhood bar and grill. We have a lot of regulars who come in all the time. We just try to be very accommodating to people. It's a great place if you want to come in and get a burger and a beer or just want to come and hang out all day. Um, this is the place to do it. We just try to just be just your local neighborhood watering hole with great food. All yeah. right, so you kind of created, envisioned this burger oh, right yeah. here. So, I mean, as I look at it, it's very appealing. Tell yes. me about it. Tell me where the inspiration came it's from. It's pretty simple. I like pimento cheese and I like bacon. And I thought, man, those would be really good. On, yeah, it's hard not to like those two things. And um, we do a really great house-made pimento cheese here. And um, we, um, I just, one day I was like, we need our own signature burger with our name on it. And I was like, nothing's explains the Albert like pimento cheese and bacon we're that kind of place um, so I put it on a burger one day and people loved it and we haven't stopped serving them since and it's kind of caught notice too it's got some acclaim yeah. some uh, some recognition yeah people really like it um, we'll we'll sell hundreds a day sometimes and um, it's a really great burger I think and um, people have really taken a shine to it which how many they, Albert burgers have you eaten if you had to take a guess oh man um, too many like <laughs> I, I have high cholesterol for a 25 year old it's ridiculous we always toaster bun because we're not losers. Um, that's how you make a burger. And um, it's got bacon, which isn't house made. We wish we could do it, but we can't. And then we make our house made pimento cheese. And then on the bottom there, it's got some pickled red onions just to kind of fight through all that fat and juiciness and salt. That's just, a vegetable, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Onions I got I had, I had, I fought against it, but you, I had to put a vegetable. <laughs> we got to make it yeah. as healthy as possible. Yeah. In one sentence, what's the coolest thing about this place? Oh man, when you're here, your family. That's pretty good. Is that, is that your slogan, or did you just make that up? Yeah, I think I just made that up. The Albert. Yeah. When you're here, your, your family. family. I'm ready to taste this. Yeah, I'll eat it. You. Jump right. in. I got some napkins there for okay. you. That, that's smart because I yeah. spilled all kinds of things down my chin. Yeah, you're gonna have to really hunch over. Yeah, I'm looking for where the best place oh, is. Man. I think you just gotta you go for it. You can't be scared. Yeah, it's a scary like this, burger. You just gotta but go can't for be scared. It. I'm not scared. <laughs> There's one thing I'm not is scared. All right, here we go. The Albert. Albert Burger. Jump in. Oh yeah. There it is. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take it away, Craig. All right, this is Fox 5 Atlanta. This is Burgers with Buck. I'm Craig Holzer. Back to you guys. <laughs> you might have a future in television, right? Uh -huh. On Sunday, the Albert will celebrate eight years as that hip, cool Inman Park neighborhood bar and grill. For more information on the Albert, go to the Good Day section of the Fox 5 Atlanta app. And as always, if you have a favorite burger joint that you'd like to see featured on Burgers with Buck, well, Heck, I'd like to feature it. Hit me up on Facebook <laughs> or on Twitter. Let me know about it. And if you guys could have heard all the mmm and all the noises that Katie Beasley was, was making. And, and like I tell her, she's eating for two. You, yeah. you need to come out on these segments with her. Yeah, right. Was it as good as it looked? The, you know, the pimento cheese was awesome. The bacon was thick cut, which I really liked. But yeah. I think the key, it might surprise you, is those pickled those red onions. onions on the bottom. It just gave it that little extra something that it needed. Oh, man. I'm a believer. I think I'm going to have to have a burger today. <laughs> all right, <laughs> sounds gonna good. It's going to happen.